The following example will take a look at the Set Folio Wizard, which configures the folio value that is visible in the K2 work list, as well as various out-of-box reports such as the Process Instance Report in K2 Workspace. The Process Folio is used to provide a human-readable unique reference to a running process instance. This value can make visible static text, or dynamic business information throughout the lifetime of a process instance. The folio value is the only field you have available to surface business information to your users in the K2 work list and K2 process instance reports. And because of this, you may have a need to change what is displayed here throughout the course of a running process. To do this, you have the ability to use the set folio step to quickly change the information displayed in the folio field. Also keep in mind, due to a more open nature of the folio field, your organization may have requirements that govern the information you can display here. So keep security and privacy in mind when exposing business information using this wizard and the folio value. To set a simple context for you in this demonstration, I will be using a simple leave request workflow tied to a SharePoint list. This process will allow employees to fill out a leave request form and submit it to their manager for approval. The folio value will initially display some basic information that states the leave type and who submitted the leave request. The manager will receive the task and will have three action choices. He or she can approve, decline, or ask the originator to change the dates if necessary. In this case, when a manager requests to have the dates changed, a task is sent back to the originator. From there, the originator can either cancel the leave request or change the start and end dates. If the dates are changed, the originator can then select the complete action. From that action, I want to append the text revised dates to the folio and then send it back to the manager. To do this, I'll drop the set folio event onto the design canvas. Then I'll enter in the value of the new folio in the text box that appears. I want to keep this similar to the original folio value, so I'll also drop the item reference fields for leave type and created by from the context browser on the right. You can include any of the fields from the context browser in the folio value text box. For this demo, I'm just going to append the text, revised dates in order to signal to the manager that this is a revised request. I'll click OK and deploy the workflow. Now that I have included the set folio wizard in the change dates path, let's take a look at this workflow in action. I'm going to enter in a vacation leave request for Holly for a week at the end of January. And upon entering this and saving it, the workflow will start and send a task to Barry, who happens to be Holly's manager. So let's take a look at the task in Barry's workspace. We can see that it appears with the configured folio information. Now let me show you a brief view of the process instances report in the K2 workspace. As you can see, the configured folio value conveniently shows up here as well. So in moving back to Barry's workspace again, I'll go ahead and action this task from his work list and select Change Dates from here. This will send the task back to Holly, so she can edit the date range for her leave request. So with that, I'll switch over to Holly's workspace, which now shows a task for her to change the dates for her request. In this case, I'll open up the form and correct the end date, save the value back to SharePoint, then select Complete from the Actions list and Submit. Now I'll go back over to Barry's work list. From here, you can see that the folio has been changed with the revised dates text appended to it. So in a nutshell, that's basically how the Set Folio Workflow Wizard works. We would like to thank you for watching this demo on how to use the Set Folio Wizard. We hope you have a better understanding of how and when you can use this workflow step to configure the folio text within workflows used by your organization.